Today's video is brought to you by Beautiful Halo. Um, thank you so much for sponsoring me, first of all. And if you guys would like some good quality anime merch, you can go to Beautiful Halo, link in the description below. And on your next $49 plus order, you can get 5% off with the code MEME. And if it's $99 plus, you can get 10% off with the same code MEME. M E M E. Anywho, so all the intro. Welcome back guys, this is King of Weaves here and this is what if Naruto was raised, well what if Minato and Kushina Spirit uh, <clears throat> raised Naruto. Anywho, last time we left off with Naruto of course, uh, <clears throat> you know, leaving with Team 7 to actually go off on the, the <clears throat> Land of Waves arc, uh, well, arc, I mean mission and you know, escort, escorting Tarzana but anywho. Of course, Naruto here, who is actually being serious for once, actually realized that there is a puddle. And so, as soon as, you know, the two demon brothers appeared, uh, Kakashi wasn't even able to fake that he was going to die. Naruto being so fast, he just literally teleported in front of, well, not teleported, like, uh, <clears throat> what I mean is that he literally just, uh, you know, <clears throat> body flickered in front of the two demon brothers and literally had two Shar uh, well not two Sharingans, uh two uh Rasengans in his both of his hands and literally just Rasengan them in the stomach. Anywho, of course after this Team Seven leaves. Uh well after finding out not leaves, after uh, this Team Seven actually, you know, finds out who the real target of the two demon brothers were and you know uh, who the real target was, not were was and you know the two uh <clears throat> and anywho, of course, Tarzana begs them to just continue this mission and, you know, Minato's and Kushina's spirit, you know, have some mercy in that. And they actually trust their son. They're like, hmm, he's more than strong enough to do this. Naruto, I think we sh you should do it. And basically, as they say that, Naruto's like, of course we'll do it. We'll always help someone in need. We are ninjas after all. Right, Kakashi and saying, Kakashi's like, oh, you see, we should return to the village. But from what I have just seen, you're more than strong enough to, you know, handle this mission. Well, not only you, of course, the whole team. Anywho, now, anywho, and of course, Team 7 continues this mission. A few minutes later, oh, no, a few hours later of walking, they actually arrive at the Land of Waves, but of course, they still get intercepted by some fog. Of course, this fog was thick, and Naruto saw this. Of course, Kakashi already had questions for Naruto, but anywho, Naruto then, you know, uh, <clears throat> was sense oh you know how he's a sensory ninja he sensed that the there were there was some danger ahead and basically then kakashi realized what was coming at them and he tells everyone to dock down and of course they all dock down and you know uh Zabuza then appears here the fight begins with uh, Zabuza and you know kakashi kakashi begins with a few tajutsu you know techniques and then the Zabuza just counters and you know anywho now of course uh not a uh, Naruto sees this and he sees that their Taijutsu is way better than his and Naruto, not Naruto, Naruto sees that, you know, he actually realizes how good Kakashi is and anywho, <clears throat> now, anywho, of course now, uh, Naruto realizing that Kakashi is so much stronger than him actually is uh, impressed and so is that, alright then, you have my respect Kakashi sensei, anywho. Let me come and help you. And as he says, you know, Kakashi actually slips and, you know, Zabuza actually, uh, you know, <clears throat> in present, uh, imprisons him. Uh, <clears throat> Anywho, then Naruto tells Team 7 that they'll have to work together to, you know, actually uh, be able to free Kakashi. Because he knows that none of them are strong enough to actually uh, beat uh, Zabuza on, on a one-on-one -on -one fight. Especially because, and Naruto is way, way sh like, like a lot stronger than Team 7 right now. Uh. <clears throat> well, individually, of course, but, well, still, even Sasuke and, you know, Sakura put together, I don't think they would put up much of a fight against Naruto, especially because he has, like, the Rasengan, and, you know, <clears throat> uh, near enough mastery of uh, uh, the Flying Raijin. 
Anywho, and then Sasuke and uh, Naruto actually come up with the same plan, and you know they do it. But here Naruto doesn't just stop after you know throwing the kunai. After he throws the kunai and you know Kakashi gets freed, Naruto actually teleports towards the kunai to actually help out a lot more uh, than in the original and actually start fighting against Zabuza whilst Kakashi actually recovers some of his chakra. Well, no, recovers. You know. Uh, <clears throat> Because he's out of breath, especially because he was drowning, like my guy, he was in a fucking water prison. But anywho, of course now, Naruto, who whose Taijutsu was okay compared to you know Zabuza's and you know Kakashi's, uh, Zabuza saw some potential in this kid, but he realized that he needs to kill him fast, especially because Naruto has this technique of being able to teleport to another kunai. Of course, Naruto lost a lot of chakra from that. He can't even use the uh, you know Rasengan anymore after that. But anywho. Of course, uh, that doesn't really matter. Naruto was able to help out Kakashi, and now Kakashi takes on the fight. Of course, in the end, Kakashi was about to kill Zabuza, but uh, Haku comes out of nowhere to save his ass, and you know, and then <clears throat> you know, um, Zabuza. Well, Team Seven was confused, but uh, they were taken by Tazuna to his own home, and you know. And anywho, now Naruto and Team Seven actually go to you know the Tazuna's place and. Uh, they stay there for a few days, well, a full week, but, of course, on the f first day, you know, Zabuza, well, not Zabuza, Kakashi tells Team 7 that they will be training in tree walking. Of course, Naruto, anywho, uh, since Na uh, Naruto already knows this, he doesn't bother, you know, training with them and goes off on his own. Of course, Naruto then begins his, uh, you know, uh, meditation, uh, which he meditates for a few days. Yes, Naruto hasn't been back in a few days. Kakashi got worried, and so he actually went to find Naruto. Naruto was actually meditating because, you know, after using the <clears throat> flying Raijin, he, he realized that his chakra is really low uh, after using it just once. But anywho, now Naruto, of course, after finding this out, after realizing that the flying Raijin takes literally most of his chakra just by doing it once. Then asks, you know, Minato if uh, how many times he could do it. And Minato says that he could do it around like a few thousand times in one fight. And Naruto realized that he is really bad at it. Especially because Naruto can barely do it once. But then, uh, you know, uh, Minato consoles Naruto by saying that it took him years to master this technique. So he shouldn't worry if uh, he um, it takes him a long time to get used to it. And basically Naruto is like, it's fine. I'm not. I'm not worried. I'll be able to master it just as good as you. I'm going to train, of course. Training is the only way I can get better at it, right? And of course, uh, Kaka uh, well, uh, Minato then says yes, of course. <clears throat> Anywho, Kakashi sees that Naruto is, uh, you know, meditating and asks what's happening. And basically, Naruto then, you know, tells him that he's trying to, you know, train, um, well, increase his chakra reserves. And, you know, um, Kakashi then asks, oh, is it because you used that technique before when you teleported into that kunai? Of course, Kakashi knows, but he doesn't really want to ask Naruto because he can see that Naruto's frustrated. He doesn't know how, you know, to, you know, uh, <clears throat> increase, uh, well, uh, well, <clears throat> not increase, but, you know, get used to the flying Raijin and basically just tells him that... <clears throat> Anywho, then Kakashi tells him that he needs to actually use the technique to continue training, but he should return home for now. He needs to eat. Of course, Naruto returns to see his team, you know, uh, all roughed up, well, except for Sakura, mostly, you know, uh, <clears throat> Sasuke, because he's been training in the tree walking and he's been pretty pissed off that, you know, both of his team, two, two teammates, one already knew how to do it, and the other one learned it within her first try. And anywho, of course, he's pretty pissed off, but anywho, now. Naruto, of course, uh, began his true training the next morning, <clears throat> and you know he actually you know uh, started to use the flying Raijin a lot more than uh, what he initially did. But anywho, now Naruto, of course, uh, the the next morning actually began his training. It's been three days, and he has four more. Of course, on this day he actually meets Haku after using the flying Raijin twice, which is a new thing. Uh, well, of course, after using it twice, he run out of full, uh, fully run out of chakra, and you know he was just on the floor. And anywho, well, not fully, or because if you run out of fully of chakra, you're going to die. But anywho, of course, now Naruto after you know, trying so many uh, times over and over again. 
a few hours later, you know, he meets Haku and Haku tells him about if he has any precious ones, he'll always want to, you know, protect them. And, you know, Naruto really doesn't have any precious ones because he's fucking orphaned. Anywho, now, uh, <clears throat> but he, you know, cherishes the spirits of his parents because uh, he has them inside of him for some reason. But anywho, now, Naruto, who, you know, Naruto, of course, uh, who was training on his own, now realize that he needs to train even harder to protect his, the village that he loves of course Naruto doesn't have anything uh, you know against the village he actually loves the village with everything he's got and he wants to protect the village anywho now Naruto who uh, <clears throat> uh, was training on his own uh, in the end you know realized that he needs to go home he's hungry and anywho of course now Naruto returned home uh, <clears throat> well not ho his home but he returned to Tarzano's home uh, because uh, he needs to eat. Anywho, now Naruto, after eating, he actually returns to training because he's uh, <clears throat> not going to be finished. Anywho, Naruto trains for the next few days until uh, you know the last day of their uh, you know the stay over on uh, two thousand uh, home. And anywho, now the next morning uh, he uh, wakes up le uh, le late, not let late, uh, <clears throat> because you know of uh, him being tired and his team already left. Of course, now, uh, he, he wakes up to hear, you know, uh, Inari and his mother scream and, you know, Naruto, who was actually, you know, washing his face, um, realized that he needs to go help. And, of course, he went out to help them out and, in the end, you know, uh, destroyed the two uh, bandits. And Naruto, of course, uh, <clears throat> tied them up and basically said that he'll be going now. They should, uh, you know, go to the village to be safe. Anywho, uh, in case there's more bandits. And he actually left a clone with them because Naruto is really, like... He's like, nah, bro, nothing's gonna happen to this family. Anywho, of course, now Naruto, who left, uh, he arrived at the battlefield seeing that, uh, you know, Naruto, well, Sasuke tried to fight, you know, uh, Haku, but of course, he wasn't uh, doing too, too well. But anywho, of course, now Haku, uh, seeing that even Naruto joined the fight, uh, he actually <clears throat> uh, used his, um, you know, ice mirrors uh, to actually. Uh, <clears throat> make it easy on himself and you know not strain himself fighting these two uh on his own and you know um <clears throat> they realized that these ice mirrors are pretty much impenetrable especially because sasuke wasn't able to you know melt them with his uh, fire release uh, and anywho now of course realizing that these uh, uh that they're stuck naruto of course uh, tries his best to actually you know uh use a sengon on it but all he was able to do was actually just Dent, or not even dent, like literally crack the ice mirror a bit. And anywho, and anywho, now Naruto, of course, uh, you know, uh, realizing that he needs to do it more, he actually does a Rasengan barrage with two clones, uh, or so three Rasengans, and he was able to break one, but of course he regenerated quick because uh, Haku is pretty much OP here. Anywho, of course, Naruto realizing that this is uh, getting dangerous, and you know, Sasuke actually activates his one to one Sharingan at this point, uh, realizing that he needs to, you know, somehow do something. But anywho, uh, now, of course, not well, uh, Haku realized that Naruto is dangerous. So, he actually uh, goes off and uh, <clears throat> throws a few Senbon at him. Of course, he's not trying to kill Naruto because Naruto is his friend, but. He's trying to get Naruto out of the fight, so he doesn't have to deal with him anymore. Because he knows that if Naruto will, uh, remains in this, as long as Naruto remains in this fight, it's just going to be harder on him, and he's going to take longer to win. Anywho, of course, uh, Sasuke, who actually awoke, uh, well, Sasuke who had the uh, Sharingan now, saw this coming, and so he actually went, uh, came in the way, and you know saved naruto naruto asked why and basically sasuke is like because you're a loser i wouldn't let myself live with it if i let someone as weak as you die on my watch and basically naruto's like god damn it sasuke even when you're dying you're so annoying and of course as naruto says that he actually allows uh, sasuke to you know lay down and rest of course he thinks he's dead but of course uh, we know he's not but anyway of course uh <clears throat> Naruto is pretty pissed off that you know um Haku hurt Sasuke and you know Naruto thinks of Sasuke like a rival at this point well not not really but especially because he, well mostly a bit of a rival because of Sasuke awakening you know the Mongekyo or well, not the Mongekyo but you know the Sharingan and so uh, he wasn't too fussed about having Sasuke as a rival but anywho now uh, Naruto lets out 
the, the nine tails of strength because you know he didn't really know what he was doing at this point but the nine tails was taking advantage of naruto to actually you know uh <clears throat> weaken the seal of course minato and kushino were there to tell naruto to stop but in this state naruto was uh, you know he they couldn't reach naruto for some reason and that is because you know of the nine tools influence naruto can only hear the nine tools saying go kill him that that man that kid killed your friend go kill him and of course naruto was pretty pissed off that you know his own uh, you know teammate got hurt because naruto was too slow in uh, in protecting him but anywho now of course uh well of course naruto thinks he got killed but anywho uh now naruto being pretty freaking pissed he actually goes off on uh, haku and you know the fight is a bit different here naruto doesn't just straight up just break the ice from those naruto breaks it with a roar but then you know haku gets ready for the worst you know uh, about to start you know going all out against naruto and you know one toes Naruto. well that wasn't even one toes but of course uh, you know Naruto not even having one till uh, one tills is pretty freaking strong but of course Haku this time he was ready for anything and so once Naruto was actually heading towards him unlike in the original which I believe Haku could have stopped Naruto especially because Haku is much stronger than Naruto even in you know just a cloak I don't think he went into one tills in the original but I'll be checking that today uh, I haven't watched Naruto just like the original Naruto in years now I'm pretty sure I said that before like two years maybe three by now but anywho I will be rewatching it soon I probably won't I just can't be else I'll probably just read the manga because it's much faster than watching the anime but anywho now Naruto of course uh, laying all of everything out oh well all, all he had uh he actually uses the flying raging one again without even realizing and you know naruto has by now he has a bit of mastery over it but of course it's still weak but uh, compared to minato's one like minato you can't come you can't really compare naruto's uh, flying raging to minato's because minato is so much stronger than naruto and he's used it way more than naruto and anywho now of course uh haku wasn't expecting this of course he knew about this technique but from what he's seen you know naruto wasn't able to you know use it much and once he used it you know haku was kind of confused on how this works but he was able to tank one of naruto's blows by actually creating ice on his arms and you know protecting his chest but after that naruto actually threw another kunai behind haku and you know he teleported again and haku realized that naruto can do it more than once uh because you know last time he saw naruto doing this naruto was fully exhausted and he was you know barely keep or you know uh, Zabuza was giving him a little bit of a chance in Taijutsu uh, while Naruto was literally you know try harding with uh, less than enough chakra to do another technique or uh, a fable or something but anyway of course now Haku who was completely baffled on how Naruto was able to you know do this again without any chakra well I mean not not again without any chakra but you know um, last time that he saw him doing this, Naruto barely had any chakra left, but now he's using it like he was something, <laughs> it's like he can spam it or something, but anywho, of course Haku was completely baffled, but he just continues fighting without asking any questions, but Naruto got a few blows in Haku, which actually hurt Haku quite a bit, and you know, in the end, you know, Haku lost it, and you know, uh, actually kind of went all out, but Naruto was uh, way too ahead of, uh, Haku by the time Haku actually decided to uh, go all out against Naruto Naruto actually came in front of him and you know smashed his uh, <clears throat> his mask and uh, then Naruto was on top of Haku while Haku couldn't move anymore and Naruto saw who this was and basically the Nanto's cloak actually disappeared of course Naruto then asks Haku why why are you doing this and of course Nar uh, Haku then explains to Naruto that it's because Zabuza is his precious one he'd do anything for Zabuza he'd even give his own life up and of course as he's he, as he was talking about this you know uh then both of them hear you know a <clears throat> they both hear a <clears throat> a chidori of course it was the sound of a thousand birds but of course Naruto uh you know Naruto had a bad feeling about this and looks back and as he looks back you know Haku breaks out of his you know uh, grasps and basically comes in front of the shidori and gets killed this is the first time naruto has actually seen like actually well of course uh, sasuke is another one but of course sasuke didn't go like didn't get freaking uh impaled but of course this is the first time um for naruto seeing 
someone a friend of his getting impaled and you know uh that hurt naruto naruto had a friend in so long he had well he only had like a few friends before uh, you know the land of ways which were shikamaru and choji but now that he actually had a new friend you know like it's you know when you make new friends it's just a good time in it but of course naruto just lost the newest uh, like the only friend that the only other friend that he had other than those two other uh the other two but anywho now naruto seeing uh haku die uh he was pretty pissed off and basically you know in the end uh zabuza was just calling him a tool and saying that he finally served his purpose and you know uh <clears throat> naruto got pretty freaking pissed he's like really just a tool do you really think haku was just a tool did you not see he gave up his life just for yours and you just call him a tool how dare you he was my friend i won't let you badmouth my friends like that and of course as he says that you know uh kakashi sees uh, you know naruto's uh chakra boiling up again and you know then a kakashi then uh just says no naruto and I, of course he actually knocks him out and what well, not knocks him out but literally stops naruto holds him back and basically uh then gato appears and basically he just says uh, he just tells them that he wasn't even going to pay the, uh, these two and uh he was just hoping that these, uh, you know, they killed uh, Zabuza and Haku, these ninjas. But uh, since they couldn't finish the job, they only uh, they only finished half the job. He's going to finish the rest. And of course, this pissed off both Naruto and Zabuza because if uh, you know uh, <clears throat> Zabuza and Haku didn't get this job, and you know uh, uh, they didn't get this job of uh, of being paid to do this, and but in the end they weren't gonna get paid. Haku would have survived even though naruto might have not met him but still he'd rather have haku survived than you know m becoming his friend and in the end naruto gets pissed off with ha zabza and they both you know go off on uh, gato's men and you know uh they were able to kill gato's men naruto using a ton of his uh, chakra by just using the flying raijin naruto used the flying raijin in this fight at least seven six six seven times and you know uh Kakashi was really impressed by Naruto's, you know, improvement. He only trained for a few days and look at him already going off with the, you know, uh, flying Raijin and, you know, uh, same as Minato and Kushino, but Minato and Kushino could feel, you know, Naruto, uh, you know, how sad Naruto was because they were inside Naruto's uh, manscape and everything. But anywho, they could feel how, Naruto sa how sad Naruto was at this moment. But anywho, now, of course, Zabuza then says, I'm sorry, Haku, all I could do is be useless because of me you died i'm so sorry and of course zabuza actually you know had the soft spot for haku since you know he thought of haku like a bit of a son but of course he's never shown it but anywho uh, haku died with a smile on his face uh, protecting the person he, he held dear to him but anywho now of course after this haku well zabuza dies next to haku and they both get buried by naruto this time naruto respecting the both of them and you know sasuke then actually waking up after a while even with the sun inside his body you know sasuke then says so they both died god damn it and of course uh he didn't know what really happened but after you know um kakashi told uh, sasuke what happened you know uh then Nar sasuke was kind of you know he got his own ninja way. You know, uh, these two really, well, even Sakura, pretty much the whole of Team 7 got the ninja ways from, you know, the land of uh, waves since it was their first ever C-ranked mission and the first time, you know, they've seen the true nature of, you know, the shinobi world and, you know, now, of course, they all understand how dangerous it uh, is to be a shinobi and they should be ready to die at any moment and kakashi actually used this to give them a speech about you know life as a shinobi and you know, if they're not strong enough they should quit being a shinobi and um, if they can't handle these kind of stuff because they're going to see it multiple times in their lives uh, as a shinobi anyway of course all of them understood and naruto was the one who was hurt the most out of all of them even especially because he had a close uh, he was closer to haku than any of them so they can't really feel um uh, how he feels right now but of course now uh, after helping out Tarzana build the bridge, of uh, Team Seven actually go, uh, leaves and returns to the Leaf Village. Anywho, 
Now, of course, once they return uh, two weeks or well, a week later, uh, Team Seven uh, gets the the news about the tuning exams, and you know Kakashi being late as always tells them late, and of course. Team 7 was pretty pissed off that they only had a week left, but uh, of course Sa uh, Sa Sakura of course, uh, was kind of worried because she hasn't been training, but she realized that she needs to train, and so she actually begins training while, you know, uh, Naruto was always training, same as Sasuke, so they're both ready for this, and you know, they were expecting uh, something like this in the future, well, in their lives, especially because they do want to become, uh, you know, strong strong ass shinobis anywho now naruto was really excited about this but still heartbroken from you know the loss of, the loss of haku but of course he can't let that uh you know uh he, he can't let that take him down especially his parents told him that he's uh he has to get uh you know uh, not used to this but you know he has to get over this uh especially because these kind of hardships can happen in the future as well and if only one of them can bring him down then he's not fit to be a shinobi because they've seen this multiple times in their lives they've seen even family members and everything dying in front of their eyes there are people who saw even worse stuff you know their lovers and everything and they themselves they've seen each other die and you know it was pretty brutal anywho of course now naruto understands and says it's fine i can get over this i'll do it for haku i'm sure he wouldn't want me to, he wouldn't want to see me like this and of course as he says that you know naruto has new motivation to train even harder and of course naruto while training uh you know he strains his body quite a bit but anyway naruto stra uh, trained for four days straight without eating or dr well, of course drinking but without eating and basically he was fully exhausted and you know he falls he collapses anyway naruto's training with not many people came but of course now Hinata, who was actually, you know, uh, <clears throat> following Naruto mo for most of the time, and she watched Naruto, she actually, you know, even once she left, she uh, came back to see Naruto still being there, and so, you know, uh, one day, well, not one day, a few hours after Naruto collapsed, she sees that Naruto collapsed, and basically, you know, she was worried for Naruto, and so, she actually got Naruto some food, because she knows that Naruto hasn't eaten in days, and yeah, of course, once Naruto wakes up, he sees the food next to him and he realizes that someone must have given it to him. He doesn't know who, but he's grateful for it. And, you know, he annihilates it. But anyway, now Naruto uh, decides to, uh, you know, his parents actually tell him to uh, take a break from uh, training. Uh, he's been straining his body way too much. And if he keeps doing this, he's just going to die eventually. And so Naruto listens to their, um, you know, uh, advice and so he uh, stops training for the next three days but anyway now the training exams arrive and you know team seven's ready even sakura trained a bit not too hard but just enough and anyway uh even though uh even Eno trained so uh that fight could go the same but anyway now of course naruto uh was kind of anxious about uh, the training exams but of course, he was really excited at the same time. Naruto's not too good at studying, so, uh, you know, in the end, uh, in the first exam, uh, Hinata comes to Naruto's aid and helps him out because Naruto was about to fail the exam and, you know, his parents are like, yeah, ship, ship. They're both like, ship, therefore, therefore, if this guy doesn't go with her, he's dying, we're killing him ourselves. And anywho, now, of course, that's just a joke. Anywho, of course, Naruto, you know, uh, then uh, is ready for the second exam and thanks Hinata one more time before the exam began be the exam begins and then he Hinata just says it's fine uh, it's the least she could do after all uh, you know she's just repaying Naruto for that time that the uh, he offered uh, uh, some ramen and basically Naruto's like you really don't have to and anywho now of course the next exam begins anywho Team Seven, of course, goes off on the goes off goes off on their own, and you know Naruto still needs to do you know his uh, business nature's business. Anywho, of course, Naruto goes off on his own, and you know then gets swallowed by a snake as per normal. Of course, Naruto here actually burns the snake alive from the inside. Yes, Naruto literally burns it, and you know since Naruto already trained with Kakashi and uh, already has a few freaking techniques uh, from Kakashi, uh, he burns the snake alive and just saying even though you know uh naruto hasn't trained with kakashi in fire release still kakashi did show him a few techniques and plus naruto has stolen a few scrolls from the hokage anywho 
Now, Naruto, who burnt the snake alive, uh, then just says, All right, then you freaking deserve that for eating me alive. Uh, you shouldn't have done that. Maybe you could have survived if you just didn't. And anywho, now the snake can't really say anything since he's dead now. But anywho, he couldn't even say anything, he would have just hissed. But anywho, now Naruto actually returns to you know, battlefield to actually save his two teammates. And you know, he tries fighting uh, Orochimaru, but Orochimaru sees that Naruto might may be a threat, especially because you know. Uh, he actually lets out a bit of the Nanto's chakra, you know, his eyes go into the fox's eyes and so uh, Orochimaru realizes that he could be a problem and so, you know, he increases the, well, he actually tightens the seal and, you know, uh, the <clears throat> Nanto's is pretty pissed off but Naruto uh, was actually uh, completely confused on how Orochimaru was able to, you know, take away Naruto's chakra so quick, uh, especially, and just saying, Naruto lost a ton of chakra just from that and, you know, in the end, uh, <clears throat> Naruto was like, alright, and uh, he saw, you know, uh, Sasuke getting bitten by Orochimaru, and basically that kind of pissed him off, again, he uh, he couldn't protect his uh, teammates, and basically Orochimaru was like, might as well just end all of you, and basically, you know, he was about to attack, uh, you know, Sakura to end her, but Naruto came out of nowhere, actually, uh, you know, body flickering in front of Zabzo, um, Zabzo Orochimaru, and... Orochimaru was completely baffled on how Naruto could even move after, you know, tightening the seal so much. And Naruto says, don't, don't touch my friends. And basically, Naruto's chakra, his actual chakra, his blue chakra, was flowing around Naruto. And basically, Naruto had a bit of an aura, just like, you know, uh, Rage Trunks did, you know, his Super Saiyan aura. But inside, there was some blue aura. Yeah, a bit, some, something like that. And basically, Naruto... Then just said, do not touch my friends. And as he says that, you know, then kicks Orochimaru so hard in the chest. Orochimaru goes flying. And basically Orochimaru says, maybe this might be a bit fun. And as he says that, you know, Naruto gets ready for the worst. And basically Orochimaru was about to stab him. But Naruto had a plan. And as Orochimaru came towards him, Naruto's like, that's where you messed up. And as he says that, you know, then Orochimaru uh, gets countered by Naruto. Uh, Naruto lets Orochimaru come a bit close to his face, but then Naruto actually teleports behind Orochimaru and Roundhouse kicks him right in the, you know, side of, well, the back of the head on the right side uh, with his left foot. And basically, Naruto then actually um, <coughs> throws a kunai in front of uh, Orochimaru and has a Rasengan ready and teleports there. And Orochimaru gets Rasengan. Something like, you know, what happened with Obito, just that imagine it with Obito being, oh, uh, well, facing. Uh, <clears throat> Minato, something like that. But anywho, after this, you know, Orochimaru realized that he's going to have to escape. This body is not going to be, you know, he's not going to hold on for too long, uh, much longer. And so he escapes, and Naruto is able to save Team Seven. And you know, Sakura was confused on, oh, and basically, you know, uh, Naruto, you know, took Sakura somewhere else next to a tree. And Naruto was really tired, and so he tells Sakura that he'll, she'll have to do the rest, especially because he needs to rest. And anywho, now. Of course, Sakura then says, you take your rest, Naruto, I've trained for this, and basically, you know, that's not true. Of course, she has trained, but uh, she hasn't trained as hard as, you know, uh, Naruto and Sasuke. But anywho, uh, she has at least tried. Anywho, now, Naruto, of course, hears Sakura screaming, and just saying, uh, Lee's fight with the S Kakashi, I mean, uh, Sasuke, still went the same way, you know, uh, um, in the end, being stopped by Mike Guy, and anywho, now, of course, Sakura was getting attacked and she was screaming and Naruto heard this and he woke up at the same time as Sasuke and Sasuke, well, Naruto saw what Sasuke did, you know, to the sound, uh, sound trio and uh, annihilated them. Anywho, now Naruto was completely baffled but Sasuke attacks him and just saying, Sasuke was really jealous of Naruto uh, being so strong and uh, in the end, he lets, you know, his rage take over and, you know, he actually attacks Naruto out of nowhere. And basically, Naruto uh, basically has to stop this or he's going to get hurt. And anywho, now, Sakura sees, you know, Naruto knocking out Sasuke with uh, easily. And she's like, wait, why'd you do that? And basically, Naruto's like, did you not see him trying to attack me? And basically, Sakura's like, yeah, but he's hurt. You could have done a bit, you know, less hard. And basically, Naruto's like... You see, this is the only way we can get rid of this goddamn mark. And of course, you know, what he's talking about, he's talking about the, you know, curse marks, uh, marks, the markings on uh, Sasuke's face. But anywho, now, of course, then a few uh, days later, the preliminaries began. And basically, the pre preliminaries went a 
in pretty much the same way well except except for Naruto's fight Naruto didn't even show any of his skills uh to anyone there because he didn't want to uh you know uh give them too much information about him and so in the end Naruto just you know uh tied you to the hell out of uh <clears throat> Kiba and basically Kiba got annihilated and basically you know uh <clears throat> Choji and Shikamaru were expecting this because they know uh, Naruto and they know how strong Naruto truly is and basically then uh Sakura's fight actually happened next Sakura got a double knockout then you know Hinata's and Naruto actually came in to actually save Hinata same as all the you know Jonin uh, Naruto you know instinctively came and he didn't even notice that he actually arrived there and basically in the end he still made that uh, you know blood oath that he's going to beat um <clears throat> uh neji and basically uh neji just says naruto you stand no chance do you not understand my fate was always to be strong your fate was always to be a failure and naruto's like screw your fate i'll show you that i can decide my own fate anyone can understood and basically as he says that or uh, you know uh neji says all right then we'll see in the finals prove it to me and as he says that you know naruto just glares at him one more time and lets out a bit of his blood loss which is felt by most of the jonins and they were completely baffled on how much naruto uh, well how much blood loss naruto had and even though hokage was like damn naruto's pretty freaking scary for genin but anywho of course now uh, naruto just leaves and uh, watches the next few fights uh, and uh, he was really you know baffled on how uh strong you know lee was and he really thought that lee was about to win until you know agara went into you know his killer mode and annihilated it and anywho now of course naruto saw how strong uh both lee and uh gara are and he even says to himself that if he were to verse if he was the one to verse lee and uh, he had the same mentality as you know um the fight against kiba he'd probably have lost especially because he would have underestimated lee way too much even though he was pretty fast naruto would have realized how strong lee is too late in the fight and you know he would have lost way too quick for naruto to even be able to use any of his powers he's grateful that he didn't verse lee but at the same time he realized that garo who underestimated lee immensely even more than you know how much naruto himself underestimated him uh and he still pulled off a win anywho after this you know naruto um then wow well, sorry of course the training exams ended and uh, the one month training training not training training got announced and after this you know naruto and oh you know Naruto and the people who actually passed are going to go on a one month training. Sorry, I just put my AirPods on. I just want to listen to some music while recording. Yes, I do that. If anyone uh, was wondering what I do while recording for a full hour, I listen to music. Anywho, now, of course, uh, <clears throat> Naruto uh, went off on his one month training and he was actually training on his own. Of course, Mino to actually taught him how to use the Shadow sh Shuriken uh, Jutsu and the uh, Shadow Jutsu, and of course Naruto learned it within a few days and uh, you know he was actually training a bit more with his uh, you know Uzumaki chains but Naruto one day he actually went down the hill and went to you know Ichirak Ramen of course now uh, <clears throat> Naruto still bumps into uh, Jiraiya and Jiraiya then tells him and Naruto actually knew about Jiraiya being his godfather by now and yes now Naruto after finding out that, uh, that Jiraiya would actually train him um, of course he actually accepted and so he's like, alright, can we begin the training now? And Dryer's like, of course, my boy. Anywho, not my boy. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Anywho, of course, uh, <clears throat> Naruto and Dryer begin their training. And yeah, now, uh, of course, Naruto and uh, the rest, you know. <clears throat> I mean, not Naruto and the rest. You know, Naruto actually mastered the, you know, summoning jutsu within a day. And basically, Dryer's like, Naruto, you're something different. And you know, Naruto's like, oh, thanks. And anywho, now, after a while, uh, Naruto and Jiraiya, uh, you know, finished their one month training. And Naruto actually, well, well, Jiraiya, not Naruto, but Naruto asked Jiraiya if he could train him, you know, uh, in his Taijutsu. And Jiraiya was more than happy enough to uh, train Naruto in Taijutsu. Especially because after, you know, uh, sparring with Naruto a few times, 
he's seen that Naruto needs a lot more training in Taijutsu. Of course, Minato and Kushina gave him tips, but uh, tips don't really, you know, uh, show too much unless you, you know, actually use them in practicals or against someone. And Naruto doesn't really have many sparring partners or m many people to train him. Of course, uh, Kakashi trained him a bit, but still, Naruto is really like he's not the best. Uh, and anywho, now of course Naruto who trained for a few days, uh, well, uh, the last few days in Taijutsu, um, and since he did train with Jiraiya for uh, in Taijutsu, and then the last few days Naruto trained on his own in Taijutsu. Since Jiraiya actually had to leave early here, he actually then you know Naruto. Um, I went to visit, you know, um, <clears throat> Lee and, you know, India and still has that little quarrel with uh, both, uh, you know, him and, uh, uh, well, Naruto and uh, <clears throat> Shikamaru still stop Garo from killing Lee. I know, I'm pretty sure this happened a lot earlier, but I'm going to say it happened now, but still, then, you know, uh, <clears throat> Naruto actually went to visit, uh, you know, <clears throat> Hinata, who Hinata, of course, Naruto came in to stop Neji from, you know, killing in the end. And, you know, Naruto says, sorry, I should have uh, jumped in earlier. I could have helped you. And basically, you know, uh, Naruto actually returns the gift that, you know, Tsunade gave him. Uh, well, not Tsunade. Hinata gave him after, you know, uh, beating, uh, <clears throat> you know, Kiba. And basically then, uh, you know, Hinata says, no, you can keep it. It's a gift. And, you know. Naruto then says, all right then. And anywho, Naruto actually takes her out to actually have some ramen with him. Since he actually feels guilty that, uh, you know, Hinata got hurt. Since he should have really helped out when uh, he actually had the power to. And he could have stopped, um, you know, Neji from hurting Hinata. But in the end, he was too late. But anywho, now, of course, the day of the exam, you know, arrived. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, Hinata was... Uh, you know, cheering on both Naruto and uh, her teammate uh, Shino since he passed, and anywho, uh, to the finals, and he was the only one from Team Eight. Yeah, completely forgot the number. And anywho, now of course Naruto was uh, you know happy to see that even Sakura was there to actually cheer him on, and Sakura's like, "You better win, Naruto." And of course, now Neji walks out, and Naruto just glares at Neji, and uh, you know Neji says, "Are you ready to be shown?" Well. Are you, not to be shown, are you ready Naruto's Maki? And basically Naruto's that sharp and get ready to fight. And basically, you know, uh, Neji's like, hmm, pretty rude. And of course now, uh, the, you know, fight begins, well, the exam, well, the finals uh, begin. And basically Naruto, uh, you know, wastes no time and uh, goes off to attack, you know, uh, Neji. But of course Neji already knew that Naruto was going to be a bit aggressive, especially because Naruto... Uh, has an aggressive, you know, uh, fighting style, and uh, of course, Naruto going straight in to attack uh, Neji was a mistake because Neji was ready for this. And basically, you know, he actually uh, <clears throat> used this as an opportunity to actually hit one of uh, Naruto's chakra points, which actually worked. And basically, Naruto was like, "God damn it!" And basically, Naruto realized that he mo he messed up quite bad, especially because Naruto uh, he's not the best at chakra control. Okay, he has a pretty good well. Better chakra control than others, but when his chakra, you know, um, <clears throat> gets, uh, you know, compromised, it's really hard for Naruto, you know, to uh, bring it back to normal, especially because of the Nine Tails influence. You know, Naruto would have been much stronger without the Nine Tails, you know, interfering with uh, he, uh, Naruto every time whenever he uh, he's running low on chakra or something. Naruto could have, you know, been more rational. He has to make decisions faster now, especially because, uh, you know, the Nine Tails would just um, get in the way. And just saying, Naruto still found out about the Nine Tails. Anywho, now, of course, his parents told him on his 12th birthday and Naruto was kind of pissed off, but in the end, you know, I didn't mention that in the last part, so I wanted to mention the na mention it now. But anywho, now, of course, Naruto, uh, who then actually backed up a bit and uh, realized that he needs to think this through, and, you know, Naruto then actually throws a kunai up in the air and says, well, this fight will have to depend on time. And as he says that, you know, Neji actually rushes Naruto, um, something that even Naruto wasn't expecting Neji to do because he thought that Neji was like a more um, passive fighter. But Neji is a close range fighter, so he needs to get, you know, close to, you know, his uh, enemy. And Naruto was caught off guard, of course, throwing the kunai up in the air. Many people were confused on why did uh, why he did that, but of course, Sakura actually knew. Sakura knows about Naruto's uh, techniques. And anywho, now, 
of course uh Sakura was just waiting for the kunai to fall down while Naruto was kind of getting beaten but Naruto was able to escape the beating from you know Neji uh, by actually uh, jumping up and using body flicker and you know disappearing from Neji's view and even Neji was completely baffled on how Naruto was able to use body flicker to such an extent that even his uh, you know Byaku uh, couldn't keep up and you know some people well some aren't be actually were watching this and they actually saw a bit of Shisui in Naruto you know uh, Naruto using body flicker so good and basically Naruto is really good with body flicker and that is the whole reason why you know he, uh, he may become the new Shisui but I'm joking anywho now of course he's just as he's not as good as Shisui but if he keeps you know training with his body flicker he actually will get as good as you know uh, Shisui is but of course Naruto has the flying Raijin so the body flicker would not really come in handy well it actually would to be honest because Naruto always needs the kunai but anywho Naruto body flickered away and basically actually kicked Neji a few times while Neji couldn't even keep up but then you know Naruto's uh, chakra issue came up again especially because the nine tools was actually trying to take over at this moment and you know Neji took this opportunity to use the 64 palms a forbidden technique of the Hyuga which you know Neji shouldn't have known uh shouldn't know but anywho, uh, now, you know, Neji hitting Naruto with this, Naruto was completely baffled on what just happened and basically Naruto said, like, alright, that's enough. And as he says that, he actually uh, created a Rasengan, which then, you know, Neji, oh, not Rasengan, sorry, uh, sorry, 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 that was my bad. Uh, Naruto then actually, you know, jumps backwards again and, you know, uh, backflips and, and once, you know, he's facing Neji again, he throws a kunai, a normal one, which actually, oh, well, not normal one, they all have Uzumaki seals, which is actually not the sealing formula to actually, you know, uh, <clears throat> get to, you know, uh, to actually teleport to the kunai but all those kunais you know got deflected oh uh, naruto not all those naruto threw one but of course uh he used the shadow kunai jutsu which they all got uh, deflected by uh, neji's rotation which uh you know was another technique of the hyuga which neji shouldn't have known unless he trained uh, you know with a main branch you know uh you know what i mean or by an adult but neji trained on his own and this is something that he uh mastered on his own anywho of course hayashi was completely baffled on how neji was so strong but naruto says well neji i guess you've lost this fight and basically naruto you know uh actually body flickers in front of neji neji wasn't expecting this as soon as he uh, you know stopped his rotation naruto got a few good blows in uh you know uh neji especially using his new taijutsu uh you know uh abilities uh, especially because he's much stronger with taijutsu now but anywho now of course, Neji was completely baffled on how Naruto was so strong, especially in Tajutsu, since he's not, he shouldn't be as, uh, this good, especially from what he's heard from other people. But anywho, uh, now Naruto, of course, well, Neji still had the upper hand because Naruto was running really low on Chakra. All he could do is, uh, you know, uh, just use one more Body Flicker and then just one more Sengon. That's literally all he could do if he used, well, not Body Flicker, not the, I mean, uh, what he could do. All he could really do now is just one more Flying Raijin and then one more Rasengan, which uh, would be enough to actually beat Neji if he catches him off guard. Of course, Naruto then actually, you know, uh, lets, uh, you know, um, lets down his guard. Well, from what, from Neji's perspective, Naruto let down his guard, but Naruto uh, was actually trying to lure in, you know, Neji to the spot where Naruto actually threw, up, threw the kunai up in the sky. And Neji forgot it by now because, you know, of the fight going on and it's been like two three minutes and Naruto threw the kunai with a bit of chakra in it and actually wind released into it and not many people noticed no pretty much only the Hokage really noticed then Orochimaru and basically Orochimaru is like this kid's much smarter than I thought interesting and you know um as the kunai was actually falling to the ground uh Nar well Neji actually you know uh tried to attack Naruto you know he thought that Naruto must have gave up and is like I told you you're going to lose Naruto this is your destiny and of course Naruto then says oh really and basically he just looks at Neji and then teleports be teleports behind him uh I was I got shook because I t uh, I was actually drawing and I turned on my rubber and my rubber so big that I deleted half my drawing and I was like wait 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 hold up hold up, hold up please please and then you uh, now of course uh that was a kind of anticlimactic but anywho Naruto's like you goddamn schmuck you sure looked up and basically you know and just saying that is a bit of you know english slang or uk slang no english slang that's just stupid but anywho um naruto just tells him that he's an idiot and you know uh teleports behind him with a rasengan and basically just smashes it into his back uh that kind of sounded wrong but 
of course Neji got blown away and you know the Hokage was like <laughs> Naruto you smart ass uh, of course now of course uh, uh, <clears throat> you know ne uh, Neji's like what the and basically, you know, Kiba's like, you fucking nerd. And basically, you know, what, you mean by, <laughs> what I mean by that is that Naruto literally big brained it and was just uh, waiting for timing. And, you know, Naruto really uh, was just playing around. He could have ended the fight much sooner. Everyone knew that. But Naruto really underestimated Neji. He didn't actually think. From what he's seen, Neji was an easy opponent. But Neji trained quite a bit. And, you know, he actually caught up to uh, Naruto's strength. Not, not really strength, but, you know. Caught up to, you know, Naruto a bit, but of course, uh, Naruto was just underestimating him. If he really tried, he could have destroyed him within a, a few seconds. One throw of a kunai, you know, making a few uh, making a few kunai shadow clone and literally teleporting around. Or even body flickering around and literally one was sent to the chest. Easy win. But of course, Naruto was just playing around to sh just show that anything can happen. Even if fate, even if destiny tells you that. You know your fate is to lose you can change your fate at any time and you know it's your own will you need to try to change your fate for uh yeah anywho now of course not to just tell uh you know shouts out you see f destiny doesn't decide your fate it's you who decides it this is a pure example after all all of you thought that my destiny was to be a failure i know you all did but look at me now i be even a hugo what are you gonna say now huh are you just gonna say it's luck are you going to say it's timing? Well, I don't think it would have been timing since I'm the one who threw the kunai. I'm the one who made up this plan to destroy Neji like this. I could have, I could have beat him easily even before. Do you not understand now? Not everything is decided by your, by what you think or destiny. It's been decided by yourself. And anywho, of course, Naruto tells them this because he's pretty pissed off at most of the villagers, especially because, you know, he was underestimated a, l a little bit too much, a little bit, I say a little bit, a lot. But anywho, now, of course, uh, some people actually stood up and actually applauded Naruto for, you know, the skills that he's just shown off to everyone in the, you know, in the um, <clears throat> tuning exams. And basically, he's just shown to everyone how strong someone can really be. Uh, but anywho, now... Neji was completely baffled on how he lost, but now that he's lost, you know, he can't really say anything to Naruto. And Naruto just says, do you see now? Destiny isn't what you decide your fate. Like I said multiple times, do you understand the Neji? And anywho, now, of course, Naruto was declared the winner of this fight officially. And now, of course, the next fight was meant to be Shino's fight. But of course, uh, you know, well, sorry, the next fight was meant to be Sasuke's fight. But Sasuke hasn't appeared yet. But anywho. It was postponed because, you know, uh, a lot of people wanted to watch it and especially because the feudal lords were actually really interested at, uh, on how the final Uchiha survivor in the, you know, Leaf Village fought. And so they didn't want to, you know, disqualify uh, Sasuke and especially because Naruto was telling them that Sasuke is coming. He just needs a bit of time and to postpone his match. And of course they did. And, you know, the Hokage allowed it as well, uh, even though it was kind of a bit biased since, you know, it is uh, in the Leaf Village. But anywho, it doesn't really matter. It's just better for plot convenience. But anywho. Uh, you see the Hokage is working with me, yeah, so like, uh, you know, I paid him, I paypal him like, um, my life savings, like 10p, anywho, I'm kind of poor, uh, but anywho, now Naruto, of course, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> uh, thing, and watching the next fight, which is Shikamaru versus, uh, Temuri, Temuri was about to win, but then, you know, outsmarted by Shikamaru's big brain plan, 2 million IQ, something similar to Naruto's, of course. He seemed like a bit of plagiarism, but in reality, it was way different from Naruto's. Uh, you know, uh, Neji actually had to think of it on the spot, unlike Naruto, who actually thought of it, um, you know, in, uh, in the f before the fight actually really truly began against, you know, um, Neji. But anywho, of course, now Naruto uh, of, was really happy with the, you know, uh, Neji's win. And here, Neji didn't give up because Neji actually wants to verse Naruto to actually show him that he's the one who's going to beat Naruto in the finals. And Naruto is more than happy enough, uh, happy uh, to verse Sh uh, Shikamaru in the finals because, you know, Shikamaru is a worthy opponent for him. It really, it doesn't really matter who he versed, but anyway, he's really happy that his friend won. At least one of his friends, uh, you know, won. And, you know, Team 10 still has a chance to be kind or, you know, important in here anywho now naruto well what i mean by that is that you know a team eight member won a team guy a member won a te two team seven members won and two you know uh san shinobi won but anywho now 
Of course, uh, the next fight is Sasuke's one, and Sasuke played last second. And you know, uh, Kakashi actually came up and said, uh, asked Naruto, sorry, <clears throat> Kakashi then asked Naruto if he won his fight, and basically, you know, Naruto's there. Well, of course, I would win. Do you really think I'd let someone like Neji beat me now? And of course, uh, Kakashi is like, oh, well, I was expecting it. After all, you are my student. But anywho, now, of course, Naruto just laughs uh, and basically says, you know, Sakura is your student too. I think Sakura needs a bit more training. I know she's trained. I know Sakura. I've seen you fight. You tried your best. But really, you need to train a lot harder. I can see a lot of potential in you. Really, Sakura. I'm not trying to be rude. But you can do way better. And basically, you know, Sakura's that like, I'll try my best next time. And of course, she's motivated now that, you know, her own teammate told her that she can do it. And, you know, she's not useless, you know, uh, and everything that she can become strong just like him and, you know, uh, Sasuke. Of course, they don't know how Sasuke fights yet. But anyway, uh, Kakashi just told, uh, tells them that they'll be surprised. And basically, Naruto's like, well, it better be interesting. We've been waiting for the whole time. Sasuke should have got disqualified, but of course the feudal lords wanted to watch his fight out of all of them. So he sh he's really lucky anyway. Of course now the fight against Sasuke and you know Gara goes a bit similar. Just that Sasuke is a lot like I mean a lot stronger. He already has a three to my Sharingan and you know Sasuke goes all out and uh, kinda of obliterates Gara from the very beginning and you know Gara gets pissed off in the end and you know still uh goes into a rampage, especially because Sasuke showed off his uh, you know uh <clears throat> Uh, his uh, Chidori and here Sasuke you know his Chidori was much bigger just to show off uh, Sasuke used a lot more chakra and Kakashi is like is he really trying to kill him or something and of course Sasuke was just uh, you know joking around he was going to you know um, uh, <clears throat> decrease the chakra right before hitting us uh, uh, you know <clears throat> um, Gara, but then you know after even hitting Gara with the less chakra than how much he wanted to hit Gara for you know um, <clears throat> Gara still went into a rampage in the end because you know uh, of him losing blood and you know getting attacked by uh, you know Sasuke. Anywho, so, uh, Sasuke, who have said it though, but anywho, now of course, uh, Sasuke was completely confused on what happened to Gara. Why does he have a sand arm of some kind of demon or something or s such, uh, you know, uh, sharp, uh and long uh, claws but anywho of course then the genjutsu was put on everyone on in the stadium and naruto actually would stood it out and you know he still uh sensed the uh, you know shikamaru and Gar gara was taken away by the sand siblings but anywho temeri and conqueror by the way and you know sasuke still followed them and uh, kakashi still gave all three of them uh you know naruto shikamaru and uh, Sak uh, sakura the mission to actually go retrieve sasuke you know so, <clears throat> uh then you know naruto actually said all right then we'll go and basically you know uh sasuke still got obliterated by gara and you know while they were going uh, shikamaru actually told them to go ahead while he takes care of uh, you know the people that uh, the shinobi that are following him and then basically you know sakura and naruto went off on their own and in the end you know uh <clears throat> kankuro was intercepted by uh you know uh, <clears throat> shino and you know uh, Temeri actually came out of it, but then Shikamaru actually caught up and Temeri was taken care of him by him. But anywho, now, uh, you know, Naruto arrived to see Sasuke uh, in his curse mock once being obliterated, being uh, crushed by Gara. But then, you know, Sakura uh, just ran into, r ran into the uh, battlefield trying to save, uh, uh, you know, Sasuke and Naruto's like, no Sakura. And basically, as uh, you know, he says that, you know, Sakura gets annihilated like i mean annihilated annihilated and you know sakura gets destroyed so hard that you know uh naruto uh, had to step in you know to actually save her uh because sakura was going to get killed literally she was about to get killed and you know naruto uh you know tell sakura to <clears throat> be careful she shouldn't just jump into the fight uh so uh you know so carelessly and basically sakura apologizes saying that she didn't know what she was doing and basically you know naruto's like it's fine i can understand you want to save sasuke but i do too so please listen to me sakura and basically you know uh sakura just nods saying that she will listen and basically you know uh naruto tells her uh tells her about uh his plan and basically they're going to have to work together but of course you know um, he tells her that he'll be the diversion and she'll have to take Sasuke away and you know Naruto is actually telling Sakura to run uh, with Sasuke because he's going to have to take care of uh, you know Gara himself 
since you know he um gara is too uh, you know strong for these for both her and uh, you know sasuke and she's not trying he's not trying to be rude or anything but gara's just too strong but anywho now of course uh, naruto then just says okay then understood uh Sa sakura and basically sakura's uh, uh, sakura just not saying yes understood and basically you know the plan begins by naruto actually you know uh, making a few clones and you know trying to attack gara and gara well actually you know stop crushing uh you know sasuke and actually uh went for naruto's clones and you know in the end sakura was able to take sasuke and she ran and told naruto to you know escape uh to come now and basically naruto just says you go i'll catch up and basically as he says that you know naruto just looks at gara and says are you ready to fight gara and you know uh <clears throat> Sakura looks back and basically she sees a bit uh, a bit of an aura again Naruto's chakra flowing and basically she she realizes that Naruto must be you know uh, she's going to start fighting Gara and so she realizes that Naruto must have tricked her into escaping because uh, you know she she he didn't want them to get hurt while he was going to you know go all out against Gara and you know this kind of motivated her into training because she realized that she is kind of a liability uh to you know naruto even though sasuke was a liability here too she realized that she was the more uh the, the bigger liability even though sasuke was injured and she wasn't uh she really wouldn't have made a difference sasuke would even a half you know a half unconscious sasuke would have made a bigger difference than her that's what she realizes and you know this motivates her into you know becoming stronger but anywho now of course uh naruto who uh actually begins the fight against the uh, uh a half shikaku gara you know shikaku actually tells gara to go all out and you know in the end gara still lets out the full shikaku and basically naruto has to fight shikaku now and that's where i'm gonna end off i hope you all enjoyed it i know this was kind of similar to the original but a lot different because the next fight is going to go a lot different and i hope you all enjoyed it please take this if this was the king of weebs yet and also don't forget to subscribe to miniman of tree subscribe to uh, the king of news my second channel and also retreat and miniman on tree and also hamesh i said miniman on tree twice but anywho um follow shokra on instagram follow me on twitter and instagram and join the discord server all the links are in the description below and also uh if you go up to here uh, uh just write hashtag goku because uh is what it is and also one more thing um <clears throat> if you go up to here uh, it's a different hashtag but um beautiful halo are having a black friday sale and of course even uh you know winter sale and christmas sale coming up and if you want to get uh cheaper anime clothes and if better quality you know you can get it from uh, beautiful halo use my link uh to support the channel and you know uh you know sign up use my link to sign up and you know uh to uh, use my link to buy and if you if your order is over 49 dollars uh you can get five percent off a uh, five percent off with the code meme m-e-m-e -E, and if it's over 99 dollars which i don't blame you because halo has some good shit you know uh, i would want to buy it myself but i don't have the money right now but anywho uh use code meme uh, if your uh, orders are $99 plus, uh, you can use code meme for both of them and you get 10% off on your uh, $99 plus order with code meme. Anywho, hope you enjoyed it. My ducklings, you're dismissed. Uh, the hashtag for here is the uh, hashtag duckling. Anywho, uh, take care, stay safe, and peace. You're dismissed.